The Web 2.0 tool that I'd like to talk to you about today is called Little Bird Tales, and the address for navigating to the site online is littlebirdtales.com. Now, the instructional focus for this site is that in collaboration with the first grade classroom teachers, I will introduce the Little Bird Tales website, and students will use the tools on the website to write and illustrate their own digital story based on a traditional fairy tale. Now, prior to creating their original story, I will share traditional fairy tales with students during their library classes, and students will have background information about traditional fairy tales to draw on as they create their own stories. Um, this project addresses many standards in the Pennsylvania School Library model curriculum, including describe key ideas through illustrations and text, identify characters, setting, and events that occur in stories and describe them based on illustrations and details. With help and support, use the web browser to locate content-specific websites. Add drawing or other visual displays to presentations to clarify ideas, thoughts, and feelings. With guidance and support, use digital tools to produce and publish writing in collaboration with peers. With prompting and support, demonstrate proper etiquette while using and handling technology. And with prompting and support, answer questions about the importance of safe, legal, and responsible uses of technology. Now, the purpose for learning with this tool um, is to have students create their own versions of classic fairy tales and to extend the library fairy tale lessons while also putting a personal spin on them. A unique way to do this is to have students use the Little Bird Tales website to write and illustrate their stories. This is an alternative to the traditional writing and illustrating that students have done in the past. It still emphasizes the same creative writing and drawing skills, and students will still use their imagination to create a story based on a fairy tale, but this lesson also introduces several 21st century technology skills. I think the best way to introduce technology skills is to seamlessly implement them into something the students are already studying, and that's what my goal is here. Now, this tool enhances instruction because the Little Bird Tales website um, lets students reimagine traditional creative writing. Students will have the opportunity to create their own original stories that are rooted in traditional fairy tales, but they'll be using digital tools instead of traditional paper and pencils. Students will be excited to share their digital creations with their family via email or by posting them on their teacher's webpage. And they will also be relying on background knowledge that they learned in library class, um, writing skills that they practice in their classroom, and computer skills to complete this assignment. So let's get to the explanation of how this tool works. Now, the Little Bird Tales website is pretty easy to navigate, and I think it'll be great for elementary students. Um, one of my favorite parts about the site is the large, colorful buttons. You can see that there are six main buttons over here on the main page of the site. And there aren't too many options, so students won't be confused or overwhelmed when they visit the site for the first time. Now, if students want to create a new story, they'll begin by clicking the blue Create Tale button right over here. And this opens a new blank story, and students can give their story a title here at the top of the page, and they can fill in their name as the author. So the title of my story is going to be Oliver and the Three Porcupines. So we'll type that in here. And the author, we're going to keep my name in there, Mrs. Bozovich. Now, the first page of the story here is our cover. So there won't be any story text to write on this page. So to create the story cover, students have three options down here at the bottom. They can either draw, and they can click the draw button to draw their own unique cover. They can click here on galleries to import a picture that they've created for a different story. Or they can click upload to upload a photograph or other image that is saved on their computer. So let's click draw over here to create some original artwork for the story's cover. Now, since my story is called Oliver and the Three Porcupines, I'm going to draw Oliver and some porcupines here on the front cover. Now, the drawing tools here are very similar to Microsoft's Paint program, so if students have some familiarity creating pictures in Paint, um, they won't have any difficulty using the draw options. Now, the icons for each of the different drawing tools are over here along the left side of the page, and if you move your mouse over the icon, it tells you what each tool does. So this one tells us that this is the eraser, 
here's how to make a square, how to fill in. Um, you can adjust the size of our paintbrush up here at the top by clicking here where it says um, pen shapes. And you can also adjust the size of the brush. So you can here, click here where it says brush shapes, the round, square, the vertical. Um, and you can also come down here to change the size of the tip um, on your brush. Um, you can use the paint can over here to fill in a shape. You can use the eraser up here at the top to erase, and you can use the square and the circle to create um, some basic tools to help you get started. Also, the undo and the redo buttons are helpful to know about as you work. So let's start the illustration for my story. I think that the front cover should have three porcupines and a boy. So I'm going to start here with a circle so I can make my porcupine. So I'm going to draw a circle. Now this gave me a solid filled in circle. So if I don't like that, I can click over here my undo button. And I want to go over here to change the fill color or the stroke color. So I want my fill color to be white up here so that I have an empty um, circle. Or if I want my porcupine to be brown, I can click here on brown. So let's make him brown. So we're going to draw a brown circle for his head. We're going to draw another brown circle here for his body. We're going to give him some feet over here. So, oh, now if I don't like that foot, again, I can click the undo button and I can try it again. So maybe I'll try to give him another foot there. That looks a little better. That's a little small. Let's undo it. And you can undo and redo as many times as you want. So there's his feet. If you'd like to give him a face, we can come up here to our brush. And I'm going to make it nice and small here for his eyes. And again, I'm going to change my stroke color here from black to green. So my porcupine can have some green eyes. So I'm going to give him some green eyes over here. We're going to draw all those on there. And if I would like to give him a mouth, we're going to come up here to change my color again to red. He's going to be a happy porcupine. And we need to give him lots of spikes. So let's come here to our line tool. And I would like to give him some black spikes. So we're going to go here to black, and we're going to add lots of prickles here to our porcupine. So he's a spiky guy here. Now, what we're going to do, since there are three porcupines in my story, I'm going to repeat this process so that we've got all three of our porcupines on here. And since my story is called Oliver and the Three Porcupines, I should probably have Oliver here on my page too. So we've got our big porcupine. We're going to have our medium-sized porcupine over here, and we're going to want our little porcupine right down here. Maybe a little bit smaller. Maybe it's not a little too big. There he is. So we'll draw our three porcupines, and we can draw Oliver. Maybe Oliver will be back here. Now, we don't want a brown circle for him, so let's undo that. Maybe we want a white circle for Oliver's face. So here is Oliver. We're going to use my line tool to draw his body. There's Oliver. And we'll give him some pants over here. And again, to fill in, we're going to come here to our paint tool, choose our color we'd like to paint. Maybe he has some blue pants. Maybe he can have a green shirt here. And let's give Oliver some hair. Let's give him some blonde hair up here. So we're going to draw lots of spiky hair here for Oliver. We'll fill that all in here. And maybe we want a bigger brush for that. So we can go up here to nice spikes there for Oliver. He's got big hair today. <laughs> and we'll go back here. Let's make it a little bit smaller again to make his eyes. So maybe he can have some green eyes also. And we're going to change it here to red for his mouth. So there's Oliver and our three porcupines. And when our picture is finished, we're going to click the save button down here at the bottom of the screen. So we'll click save. That'll save our picture. And then we can click this green X up here at the top. And that'll take us back here to the main screen. Now that our um, cover drawing is finished, we can come here to the voice box and we're going to record our narration. Now to begin recording, we're going to hit this green record button. And when we're finished, we're going to hit the stop button. And then you can click play to hear your recording. And each time you record, a box will pop up asking if you will allow the little bird tail site to access your computer's microphone. So you want to make sure you hit allow to continue your recording. And when you're all finished recording, you're going to click the green save button up here at the top of your screen. So let's come and see if we can record the title and author of our page. So we're going to click here on the voice. 
We're going to click this green allow button to allow access to our microphone and click close and we're going to click record and the title is Oliver and the Three Porcupines by Mrs. Bozovich. Stop and to hear our story we're going to click play. Record and the title is Oliver and the Three Porcupines by Mrs. Bozovich. So if we like that, again, we hit our green save button up here at the top. And now our artwork and our narration, our voice is saved for this story. Now to add additional pages to our story, we can click the orange add page button at the top of the screen. And then we can click that, our new page pops up. And this new page will be the first page in our story that has text. So we can type our story text down here in the box that says text. And then to create your drawing and record your narration, you can repeat those same steps. You can come over here to the draw tool to draw your picture. You can come up to the voice box to click record to um, record your narration. Now, if you're gonna type your text, you can type it in there and then you can use the voice um, recording to um, read the text that you've typed in the box as your narration. And again, you wanna make sure that you save your changes up here with the green button at the top and click add page um, you can click that as many times as needed until your story is complete. And over here along the right side of the page, the um, little bird tails will keep adding all of your pages um, to your story. Now, when your story is completely finished, you have a couple of options for sharing it. So what you want to do is you want to click on the picture of the house up here in the green bar at the top of the page. And when you click on that picture of the house, you'll go back to the little bird tails main page and your story will be in a box over here that's labeled recent titles and here you're going to see a couple of options to play your story to edit it and to share it so you can see that i've made a couple of different stories here with the little bird with the tales website if i want to share my story here called oliver and the three bears um, i can click here in this box that says more options and I can click share. If I want to edit it, I can click over here on the tablet. And if I want to play it and see a preview of it, I can click the play tail button here. So let's say I want to share it. I'm going to click here on the share um, choice. And you can enter the email address right up here of the person that you would like to share your story with. And um, the little bird tail site will send the recipient an email with a hyperlink to your story. And you can also use the hyperlink that it sends to post your story online or to share it um, on your website or in your blog. So if I go here to my email, um, we can go here to Little Bird Tales. It says you've received a Little Bird tail story, Oliver and the Three Porcupines. And to play it, you could just click right here on the story um, and Little Bird Tales will load the story here and you can play it online. So let's click the play button and see if we can hear our story, Oliver. Oliver and the Three Porcupines by Mrs. Bozovich. Once upon a time, there were three porcupines who lived together in an orange house in the woods. One was a great, huge porcupine. One was a medium-sized porcupine. And one was a little, small, wee porcupine. They each had a plate I'm going to pause this, but you get the idea. It will play the story. And like I said, you can use the hyperlink up here to um, share your story on your blog or on your website. So hopefully this is a great overview of the Little Bird Tales site. Like I said, I think it's pretty user friendly. Um, I think it'll be a great tool for using, um, especially with elementary students. So I hope you enjoy exploring and creating your own story.